There's this project going on which is really interesting. The three, uh, three chaps here on YouTube, Veritas, Telemantros and Dawa Films have been involved in, setting up at least, to do with, um, well, just taking on theism really and atheism. They're coming from theist positions, they've defined God in certain terms and they invited a series of discussions around that, which is a very laudable ambition really. Uh, and one of the... Uh, one of the claims that they want to address, which is a claim made by atheists, and I am myself an atheist, so I'm involved in this, is the, uh, the idea that atheism is the default setting, and you have to do something extra to be a theist, which is really interesting. I mean, I'm assuming by that they're not talking about specifics. You don't come into, you know, being an anti-Christian, if I can use that time, or kind of term, or being an anti-Muslim, or being anti-Buddhist is, is a default setting. I don't think they mean that. I think it's a much more generic sense. Uh, yeah, I think I have to agree with that, really. I don't think, and I'm only speaking from personal experience and a little bit of reading around the size of this, if by default setting it's meant, you know, the way we as individual human beings come into the world, I think that's true. I don't think we come into the world as atheists, lacking belief. We don't come into the world with belief either, I don't think. But I do think we come into the world with a great propensity to believe. I think we come into the world as natural-born believers. Uh, and atheism, the exertion of scepticism, the, um, the application of rational processes, um, things like empirical testing, all these things which might produce atheism later, um, uh, I suspect secondary processes and more difficult processes. I know there's quite a lot of effort, quite a lot of effort involved in disbelief. Uh, I think Sam Harris might even have been involved in this research, neurological research, which demonstrates that there is a, a greater use of cognitive resources engaging in disbelief than there is in belief. It's easier to believe something, cognitively speaking, uh, which means that you know we would naturally be. Uh, you know, having this kind of inborn economy, we would have a tendency to believe things and we would resist disbelief or, or just not bother to disbelieve something. It's far easier just to, to go with the flow, really. Uh, so that isn't the same thing as being a natural-born theist, but it's not the same thing either as being a natural-born atheist. We, are, we have a natural-born tendency to believe stuff. Um, and actually, the more the more complex and more recently developed forms of thinking, like rationalism, and particularly like science, which is really only 400 years old, and some elements of scientific thinking are far less than that. You know, uh, falsification only really came in as a, as a thought-through process within the last 100 years, less than that. Uh, they're very complex ways of thinking, and very unnatural. You know, they're, they're anything but default settings. It can take years to kind of get the hang of scientific thinking, to get the hang of scepticism, and or the organized scepticism that, that scientific inquiry uh, relies upon. Uh, so scientific thinking and rationalism is absolutely not a default setting. We have, uh, um, you know, given the, the kind of propensities that we are born into, we're much more likely, I think, to engage in, uh, in superstitions of all kinds. In, in, in not just religious and theistic thinking, but all kinds of supernatural thinking, what's often called magical thinking, which apparently is a human universal, according to uh, Donald Brown. Uh, all, all societies engage in magical thinking of some kind. Uh, uh, and logical thinking comes much later and through hard work. I don't know if that adds anything to, at all to that conversation, but only that I would concur that... Um, but even myself, as an atheist, I would be lying if I said that I thought I came into the world as an atheist and had to learn about things like God later. I mean, it's true, but it's kind of trivially true. You know, it's... Um, it's it, it, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it, really. I'm under a bridge right now.